Arsenal Fan TV, Mo is cold and we've just seen a shocking performance by Arsenal. Beaten 2-0 on our home turf by Southampton and really a poor performance. Very poor performance. I mean, what, what, what was it? What went wrong for you? Was it, was it the team selection? Was it the, what, what was wrong? No, you're, you're putting it mildly when you say poor performance. And uh, no, look, no, no blame on team selection or anything like that today because the team that was put out there today is a good enough team to give Southampton a real game of it if they assert themselves, if they put their minds to it. And today, look, you know, the, the truth is, and I, I don't really think many Arsenal fans care about this competition too much. Yeah, of course it would be nice to I win care. it. I care. I mean, what's the point then in me going to Nottingham Forest and away and all those, you know, getting back home at like four in the morning? What's the it's point? Like, it's because we love Arsenal. We can win this competition. It will never give us. It will never give us the same level of joy and satisfaction as the FA Cup, as the Premier League, as the Champions League. So we, it we won't. But it's a trip to Wembley. I, I, I remember when we went there, listen, well, Birmingham. I mean, we got beat in that. But I'm I, was, I wanted to win that game. Listen, I, I want to win every single game that we play. But I'm simply stating facts that I don't think a lot of fans care about this too much you know it's one of those nice to win but we're not desperate to win it there's not that real hunger to win it and unfortunately that was also shared by the team today you know that what i'm saying there and the difference why it's acceptable for fans to feel like that and unacceptable for the players to feel like that is that we're not paid professionals we can get away with saying that oh, i'm not really fussed about this one they can't they owe it you know when they put on that shirt and when they have 60,000 or I don't know 50,000 people turning up to watch them they owe it to us to actually care and, and to put in a performance you can't you can't rock up and perform like we did in that first half and and deem that to be acceptable I mean, the first half I didn't see one Arsenal player press a Southampton player not even once yeah. it was shocking you know I mean even on a Sunday league, you'd kind of say, right, let's test the keeper early. You know, just I mean, that, that's not any ground-breaking tactic. You know, let's just give their keeper something to, to, to do in the first five or ten minutes. We didn't have a shot on target in the first half. It was really, really just timid. It was, what, it was, what, do you, what do you make of, like, you know, I don't know, you've just come here, but earlier on, some of the interviews, some of the fans going in hard on a couple of players in particular, Ramsey, uh, Jenkinson as well, those two in particular really, you know, got a lot of fans upset today. I mean, do you think they're being made scapegoats or do you think that their performances tonight Look, warranted them getting a lot of criticism? Arsenal fans love a scapegoat, yeah, and I don't like to come on here and, uh, and really rip into players unless I feel like the player has shown zero effort or has done something that I, I really feel as though is like unacceptable based on like the the culture of, of this club or the expectation of fans or whatever. If a player has had a bad day, yeah, look, I can forgive that. And with Ramsey, right, he, he did have a bad day. And it's the second time I'm saying it now. Ramsey did have a bad day. But as I said last week, it's hard, even when you're in your preferred position, to come in without a run in the team and play to your potential. We all saw Ramsey at the Euros and we know there's a good player there, but it's not easy to come in, even if it is in your best position, I'm, I'm accepting that he wasn't on the right wing or left wing today, and to play brilliantly when you don't get a run. So, look, it'll take him three or four or five games maybe, and then we can start saying, all right, do we judge him? But listen, even if I was to analyse him on the fact that it's really his second game in a position that is... Or, you know, he, right, if I was to judge him and say, look, he's playing in his preferred position against an opposition that he should be doing better against, was it acceptable today? No, it wasn't acceptable today. Ramsey himself, we disappointed. But the one thing that annoyed me about Aaron Ramsey today is that pathetic dive in the 81st minute. If you're not strong enough, if you're not skillful enough, if you're not quick enough to beat your man, hit the gym, hit the training pitch. Don't resort to diving. You leave that to the Chelsea's and the United's. Let Ashley Young and Wayne Rooney and Paul Pogba and Didier Drogba and, you know, all, all the Chelsea lads, Diego Costa. Let all of them do that. That's not what Arsenal are about. I despise seeing our players do that. If we're going to lose, let's lose with a bit of class. And if we're going to win, let's win with a bit of class as well. And listen, you know, I, that, that's the thing that wound me up about Ramsey. And if we're going to criticise him for anything, it should be that. Play like a real man. You know, I, I, I hate the diving. And that's not what Arsenal are about. And as for Jenkinson, we all just need to lay off him. And, and the reason I'm saying that is because he is not of the calibre of a Champions League player and a Champions League team. Carl Jenkinson is doing the best that he can do, in my opinion. I've never, ever 
Yeah, and I know, I know this is, might sound really harsh. I, I'd hate for him to see this sort of thing, but you know, in my opinion, he's just not at the level. So what are we going to do? Continually hit him with a stick when he's been bought out of his depth. If you go and put me and ask me to do surgery on someone, I'm going to do a crap job every single time. I don't expect to be criticised for it. I'm not a surgeon. Carl Jenkinson is not a Champions League player. We signed him for £1 million from Charlton and we're getting a £1 million from Charlton player. You know, so let's not be unrealistic about what to expect from Carl Jenkinson. I just, uh, with him, I just think I'll support him all the time. Every time I watch him, every time he's on a pitch, I'll support him. I know how much it means to him. So I'm not going to boo him. I'm not going to slate him. I don't think he's at the level. So all I can do is offer him my support, not continually beat him with a stick. But the one thing I want to say today, really in summary, is that it was rubbish. Yeah, I get that. And I get that people have bad days at the office. But what I find unacceptable today is the lack of effort, the lack of heart and desire that I was on show. Because whether it's a Champions League final, whether it's a pre-season friendly, when 11 men put on the Arsenal show, I expect to see a minimum standard, a minimum level of effort and desire. And in that first half, I did not see that. And that is unacceptable. Doesn't matter how much you paid for your ticket, doesn't matter how far you travelled, when it was, all of that sort of stuff, that was unacceptable. And it's unfair on fans who come out and support you and you go and play like that. A few misplaced passes from Perez, fine, I don't mind that. But a collective as a team, when you play with that little effort, that's unacceptable to me. Southampton wanted it more and they got what they deserved. They won the game and fair play to them. They came and played it in the right way and they played us off the park, to be honest. And I really hope Southampton go on and win it now because look, I, I've got a lot of admiration for them, their youth system, the players that they bring through their club and the way they recover from losing manager after manager after manager as well. So Southampton, well played, all credit to you, good luck, go and win the thing.